All right, so for this video, I want to go over this situation with Adam 16 storming off the Whatever podcast in what appeared to be a frantic, rage-fueled paroxysm of self-hatred and cuckoldry. And so Adam goes on this Whatever podcast to debate people about his cuckness, and one of his old foes from back in the day was also happened to be on the show, and they didn't know that each other were going to be on. And I don't know really who this guy is or what he does or anything like that, but what he does in this uh, instance is for no reason at all. He just starts insulting the 16 and directly to his face. And Adam gets extremely defensive and starts having a meltdown uh, on the show. And he walks off, storms off. And it was really crazy because this isn't typical 16 behavior. I think Adam is getting really close to his breaking point with all the cuckening that's been going on, uh, you know, that's been occurring over the last six months. We have truly been witnessing a downfall the likes of which the world has never seen. Adam 16 is down bad. And so that's going to take us to our first clip. I want to show you this clip of Adam 16 debating this other guy about uh, whether or not Adam 16 is in a monogamous relationship with Lena the Plug. And this is where we start to see tensions rise between these two. And I just thought it was a perfect clip to begin this lesson with. So let's go to our first clip here. There it is. Either you're monogamous or you're not monogamous. If you got a movie role and second. you yeah, kissed but, a girl in the movie role, would you still be monogamous in your relationship? I mean, I realize that the sex thing is more of a Whoa. real physical Whoa. act, right? Did you compare a movie kiss? You compared a movie kiss to your girl getting smacked well, down? It literally by is. They're making a piece act. of content. They're making a film. All right. So these two guys fucking hate each other. And my first impression of this is that this guy over here is like having a good time. He's smiling. He's not really taking things too serious. And then you got Adam 16, who's visibly shaking with uh, anger and frustration because he is a meme. He is a clown and nobody respects him. And so this guy's just like easily roasting him. And Adam compares his pornographic uh, career to a movie kit. I mean, that's really insane. That's why they don't have real sex on... They, they fake the sex in movies because it would be non-monogamous if you were to do that, okay? It's very easy to understand. And Adam looks just downright uncomfortable. He looks enraged. His eyebrows in full twitch. He's really, it's, things are boiling over inside of Adam. His blood's boiling. His demons are escaping. Watch this next clip. This is where, uh, this, uh, this guy, I don't know. What's his name? I don't even know this guy's name. This guy insults Adam 16 hilariously to his face. Watch this. They can have are you sure women? a lot of guys wouldn't want to be like Adam and, you know, have their woman in them streets? I mean, she's not really in the street. She just shoots porn I'm with other guys I'm from time teasing. to time. Yeah. I just, I, I feel like a lot of people like to extrapolate from our actual monogamous relationship and take the porn element and act as if that's what we're doing on a consistent basis. When in reality, her and I are faithful to each other. Number one, I don't want to hurt your feelings. I am just teasing you. So that's I, not a possibility. I just, I just want to throw that out there. But number one, I don't want to hurt your feelings. That's not possible. That was really crazy. Did you see Adam 16? He was like staring and blinking vigorously. This isn't like the Adam we see. And could you imagine how low of a, a person you would have? Like for someone to disrespect you that much, to just nonchalantly to your face in front of a cast of females and basically like, def I mean, this is really, I just thought this was a spectacular uh, moment that we were able to witness. And so keep in mind that this room is filled with like, uh, potential future plug talk people and, you know, only fans people. Adam's probably, Adam probably wants to look cool in front of all these people. Right. And then you got this other guest uh, that's just absolutely shredding him and talking about his marriage and stuff like that to his face. I mean, that's how big of a puss Adam is. You could just talk shit right to his face and he will do nothing but sit there. So this next part is hilarious as fuck. This is where Adam gets made fun of by the audience via super chat. So the audience can basically, uh, if they donate like $100, I think it is, they get a TTS message, which is like a computer-generated voice message. The computer reads your uh, message aloud on the show, and it's automatic. So you can, you can type in whatever you want and hit enter, and the computer will read it aloud on the show. And you can troll the fuck out of people uh, this way. And so that's exactly what's going to happen in this next clip. Watch this. This is funny. And then OnlyFans oh girls. Oh, yeah, hold on. Let me, let me, hold on just a, one sec, guys. Mr. Adam 666, do not insult our intelligence. Your wife is a sex worker. 
There is no monogamy. Mm. You are the one pretending. Ooh. Settled. I'm a sex worker as well. Settled. Yeah. And you Adam both have herpes. Six, six, six. What the... All right, so for no apparent reason uh, whatsoever, unprovoked, he just ad-libs onto the end of that, and you both have herpes. Okay, I thought that was fucking amazing. And I'd like to give a shout-out to, I believe his name's Marquez or Marquette, something like that. Uh, Saints and Sinners on uh, on YouTube, shout-out to you. That was amazing. I've never seen anything like this. And again, Adam just sits there and takes it and just is just a complete cuckold and so um yeah and there there he is and he doesn't deny it he doesn't say oh uh, no i don't that's completely ludicrous he doesn't deny it and that means it's true probably and so the saints and sinner guy would continue to insult the 16 he calls him cuck 22 he calls him adam 16 all to his face and adam knows that he would be physically bested by this guy if he were to you know stick up for himself so he has no choice but to just sit there like a puth. I mean, just watch. That's 22. Uh, you know, it, it's Adam 16. Bit. Oh, that's what funny. The? <laughs> no, because it's 22. That was like a, the devil number. Yeah, that was yeah, like a play yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's try to keep things a little pleasant. Donated $200. My sprinkler goes like this. Oh my God, bro. Okay. They pay money to do this? Uh, Can people type bad words in there? Like, the end comes word? back what like this. Bro, bro, why you gotta fucking. Oh my God. She's feeding it. She's feeding it. Don't, yeah, don't love feed it. that shit. Don't listen oh to women. Don't. I like how that was her face. So, what's going on here is I believe that Adam is has a growing concern about these TTS messages that are just getting read out loud automatically. He doesn't want to be made a fool of. He gets, he, that's uh, his everyday life. And he's also concerned about this guy sitting across the table from him bringing up the 16 on the show and the T and the TTS uh, saying the 16. And then this guy's explaining, no, yeah, it's a, it's a cut 22. Yeah. Adam 16. And Adam's like, uh, I, I didn't come on here to get disrespected. I came on here to hunt for new plug talk talent and stuff. So this is really a dynamic situation. And so I'd like to go to our next clip. This is where Adam walks off the show. He start, he completely loses it. He is unable to defend himself in a conversation. He had to walk off. It bothers him that much. The fact that he is being laughed at by the world and that it's being pointed out in real time by this guy to his face. That's a, that, I've never seen anyone really do this. I mean, it's really remarkable. So now Adam's going to start defending himself or whatever you want to call it. I call it just spazzing out is basically what, I, what I'm seeing. And what he does is he starts to expose the fact that they have a prior history of not liking each other and calls the guy a scam artist and an NFT scammer and all this stuff. And then he starts talking about, I mean, I'll just play the clip. I mean, nothing. I think we all are in kind of an agreement that we don't really want to sit here and listen to someone who's basically a scam artist tell us what's wrong exactly. with our lives. Yeah, this what, is what, amazing. What do you do for work? So I'm amazing. Kind of on money? the edge of walking out, Brian. I'm going to be totally right. I'm, 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 I'm not utter, walking out yeah, on like yeah, yeah. a what do you do for work? I just don't no, really want to listen to a scam artist tell me what's going on with our lifestyles, right? You can Google my name. You can Google my name right now. I don't fucking know who you are. Wow, so this is 100% comedy. We've got cucks calling out scammers. We've got all these, all this chaos. This is really funny. And Adam's using this like, I don't want to sit here with a scammer. It's not because of the scammer. It's because of the TTS harassment. And it's because this guy's calling you out to your face. Do you understand? You are a cuck and you will be treated as such for the remainder of time. Like for forever is what I'm saying. You will never recover from this. I hurt your feelings earlier, and you, you didn't hurt my feelings at all. It's just feelings feelings you're trying to and do this whole, whole moral superiority thing, and it's not working the whole because chat you're broke. Your feelings. The whole you're chat actually is... broke. Here's the you funny. You got a milk guys. dud on top of your head. <laughs> Here's the funny <laughs> guys, thing. Guys, I'm just guys, being guys. real with wait, you. Wait, wait, wait. You got a milk dud on top of your head. Like, where is that accent coming from? Guys, milk guys. dud on top of your head. You got a milk dud on top of your head. I think that's really cringe. And I just want to point out, Adam is legally bald. He had a hair transplant. That's He is delusional. Adam is just like, he's like blocking out the fact that the whole world is calling him a fucking loser cuck. And he's just like, the guy's like, the whole chat is bothering you. The whole chat is bothering you. And Adam's like, you're broke. You're actually broke. And it's just like, that's not, you got to stick to the argument at hand, the issue at hand here, which is cuckoldery. And how you're a laughing stock. 
That's what he's trying to point out. He's trying to help you. This man is trying to help the 16, okay, through his journey. So uh, that was very important to go over. Let's go to the walk-off. Let's take a look at the walk-off. Why did you do an NFT scam on your fans for like $400? Silly, checkmate. He, silly. This guy's a scammer. Wait, wait, so. guys, 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 guys. I think scammer. I'm gonna leave, Adam, Adam, and if any of you girls want to leave wait, wait, with me, Adam, Adam, I'd be happy to take you. With I, me. I, hold on, hold he's on. rage quitting. Wait, 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 he's rage quitting. It's not a rage stop, quit. Stop, it's just quitting. you're not on the level he's of me Adam, or the any of these girls. Rage quitting. Guys, guys, guys. Hold on. Let's just let's just take a little pause I didn't mean to make him rage quit. I'm done, Adam. I just I don't want to listen to this guy anymore, and I feel like I might do something extreme if I were to stick around. When I first walked in, I said, "I might have to polish that milk." I, when I first <laughs> walked, guys, when guys, I saw you downstairs, you guys, I said, do you want the fade? And wow. you said no. <sighs> okay. See what you When I first did? walked in, I said, do Thanks you want the fade? You said no. So I want it noted that Adam fully sags his pants. Okay. With this big old wonky um, lower body. His lower body is so out of pocket compared to the rest of it. He is, his like legs are huge, right? His legs, his, um, his hips huge but then he's got this dainty little upper body making for an incredibly awkward physique and so when he stands up some of the girls are looking at him and it looks like they're just going oh what the fuck that's hella weird and so uh, i just want to point that out and uh yeah so oh and then so now this guy's going to explain uh their beef the prior beef that they have so watch this you guys had like yeah as a- soon as i walked up i said do you need that fade and he said no it's Can just content oh but i mean like did you guys have like a previous uh yeah wait, because what, i that? went on no jumper he waited until i left the state of california and then he started talking crazy and i said if you had an issue with marquette devon burton you could have said that to me when i was right there in your studio all right so this guy basically submitted a fade request and it got turned down by the 16 himself and then the 16 went on the podcast with him knowing that he was on his bumper and knowing that he was probably going to be uh, bringing up a lot of this cuckoldery stuff. And so I, that really uh, eliminates the possibility for Adam to say, oh, I didn't know that he was going to be. He, You knew he was going to be there. And so this is really funny that Adam, that this guy got under Adam's skin so much and he cucked him off of the show. Okay. He was cucked. And so that was really cool. And so let's uh, listen to a little bit more. Uh, Devon yeah. Jackson donated two hundred dollars. It's wild. Adam gets more triggered at a man speaking words to him than another man breaking his wife's back and Ooh. finishing in Jervis Casinets. What a time to be alive! <laughs> so, do you guys see why Adam walked off? He was going to continue to just get hit sticked by these uh, messages, and so he knew that he could come on and deal with this scammer guy and just argue with him, but he didn't know that there was going to be a third party, which is the fans, which is the, the the chat. He didn't count on the chat coming in to confirm that he is a loser cuck and that no one respects him. And it's really embarrassing, I think, for Adam to deal with this because I think that Adam thought that he was going to shift the narrative and that cucks are going to be cool and that he's going to be cool, like he's going to make something cool. He thought that he had that type of influence. And now in present day, he's literally the least respected, most laughed at person on the internet. I mean, there's thousands and thousands of videos making fun of him out there. And even his own fans don't respect him. I mean, the guy is just down so bad. And he knew that he couldn't deal. He could deal with this guy, but he can't deal with the chat. And so that's why he left. He disguised his frustration as like, I don't want to deal with this scammer. What a cuck. So anyways, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys hit the like button and subscribe and leave me a comment. I'm going to be reading all the comments on this one. So uh, with that, I thank you all and uh, I'll see you in the next one.